enjoying this fresh air and writing a book. Bye. 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 You know, I love it when somebody. Ah! <laughs> I really love it when somebody makes something really, really well. Like this sandwich. Mm. This sandwich was made by a master. But, on the other hand, if you worry about making something really really well and sometimes you can get nervous that you can't make it well enough and uh, and then it can stop you from trying to make it at all so the thing to do is you make your sandwich Maybe it's a crappy sandwich, but you make it, and then you make another, and then you make a slightly better one, and then you keep going. We're here. Hi, I'm Anna Walker. Come in, come and have a look at the studio. So this is our space I share with other illustrators and designers and this is this is my my desk here. It's where I love to be during the week and these are all the bits and pieces that I enjoy making. Some of the characters from, from the books. Um, like the praying mantis, all sorts of feathery and furry creatures to keep me company while I work. Um, I suppose here is where I make the books and do the painting, um, create them. I collect ideas in other places and here is where I make the picture books. So I carry around with me a visual diary and in it I collect um, or paint images that I'm interested in or curious about or friends' pets that amuse me, that's Barry and Betty. One of my favourite things to paint are animals, um, especially ducks. So for my hot dog book, I thought I'd use a duck as the character and I like making things as well. So this is a little wire animation duck, which sometimes I make stop motions. This is my picture book, Mr. Huff. A lot of children would have heard of Mr. Huff. It's a story about Bill who's having a bad day and this cloud shape is following him around and he can't get rid of it. And whatever he does, it just seems to get worse. Um, and yeah, until it does have a happy, a happy ending. Um, but that's the story there and this is the The characters I made for Mr. Huff that we use for the ana uh, for the animation, a tiny stop motion. They're quite old now, and poor Bill's legs have broken now, so that's why they're carefully in this um, special stand. <laughs> so for um, for the duck, I, I wanted the duck to be able to walk through some landscapes, through sea and ideally forests, sea, forests, um, up mountains, um, maybe through the rain, as if the duck's travelling, travelling somewhere. And I thought I'd use some mono printing.
So this is an acrylic based uh, ink. I wanted a very dark blue for a night colour. With, with any type of printmaking, there are often surprising results which can be at times very frustrating. <laughs> Um, but also reveal fun things as well. It's actually very dark. That's the kind of thing like, oh, is that going to be a problem? No, it's okay. For the landscape, I start off with a really simple shape. And I really wanted this um, hot dog book to have the feeling of night and um, the duck travelling through at, at the journey. It's worth exciting pulling the paper back <laughs> to see what. So choosing a dark inky colour um, adds, well, I suppose adds some depth in a way. And I like the textures coming through of the mono printing because with the water, whether it's water below or in the sky above, it almost suggests spray of the ocean or stars in the sky. And I think the textures give an uh, organic feel in a way, um, like nature. So even though the printmaking doesn't always go as planned, there are sometimes some really lovely results. I really like the velvety, the velvety feel that is oh. like the night. Sometimes when I'm in a rush, I use a hairdryer. Okay, there we are. Um, so I begin by drawing the duck or the character various times to think about the shape. I'm going to cut these out so I can change it but I basically have a look and think about which one I think works. These are the different ducks for the different pages. I often have a piece of paper just to test the colours out. This is from a book um, I'm working on at the moment, but we'll start with some fresh duck colours. This paper that I've cut out from is quite slippery so that it's easy to see the brush strokes. It's It dries quite quickly, this paint, so it won't be long and then I can work into it in the pencil. So for this scene, I wanted the duck to be able to stand on a rock looking out onto these waves. And it's hard to tell this is a rock, so I'm just going to add a bit more detail using pencil. I am going to add though some spray of white for the waves using a toothbrush. Okay, so in theory this little duck will stand here and add a bit of spray for the water. That white there. And this duck needs an eye. Often use one of my favourite favourite tools is for making sure everything's stuck down. And we need some stars in the sky. You want the stars to look <laughs> um, random, not even. And I've just noticed when I close this, the night sky, the waves pressed onto the sky and it's smudged, which is fine, but just a bit distracting. It looks like a rogue jellyfish. 
Let me to find, see if I can fix it just with mixing some paint. Get a close match to that dark inky blue. Of course I can't help myself now, I see other things. <laughs> This time I'll put that there so that does not happen again. And we'll find a duck for the cover. I was thinking about a name for this book but um, I like the idea of it being without any words at all. <laughs> I even though storytelling with words is so important, but I also really enjoy the idea of storytelling just with images and letting the reader mm, just have their own thoughts. I love the idea of this. I feel like these are like the haiku of um, picture books. It's like a tiny, a tiny, I'm trying to distill the ideas of an idea down into just, um, uh, do I have a white, a white pen? That's a good question. Beyond the Sea by Anna Walker. Uh, by Anna Walker, me. very excited about my published pop dog book. Thanks so much for coming and sharing the studio space. Bye, see ya, bye. Kids, that's not how you spell it. Home publishing.